Have you ever wondered how traffic lights actually make decisions? Vertical traffic light What if I told you we can build a mini traffic light system using just logic gates, no microcontrollers, no programming, only pure digital logic. In this video, I'll show you how to design a traffic light circuit using 3 in gates and 2 not gates, controlling 3 LEDs, red, yellow, and green. By the end, you'll see how simple logic states can manage real-world systems. Let's get started. First, let's break down the idea. We're working with two logic states, let's call them A and B. These will act like our timing inputs. By combining them in different ways using in and not gates, we can decide which LED should be on at any moment. When the combination is right, the green LED will be on. With another combination, the yellow LED will be on. With another, the red LED will be on. So, our traffic light will cycle through red, green, yellow, red just like the real ones on the road. Now let's see how the logic gates fit into this. We have three in gates and two not gates. For the red LED, it should glow when A equals zero and B equals zero. That means we'll need not gates to invert A and B, and then feed them into an and gate. For the green LED, it should glow when A equals one and B equals zero, which is simply A not B for the yellow LED, it should glow when A equals zero and B equals one, which is not A and B and there you go, we've used all three in gates and two not gates perfectly. Let's now draw and understand the circuit. Inputs A and B can be switches or a clock pulse that changes states. The NOT gates invert A and B then we connect the AND gates, and gate 1 takes NOT A and NOT B and controls the red LED. And gate 2 takes A and NOT B and controls the green LED. And gate 3 takes NOT A and B and controls the yellow LED. Each output of the AND gates goes directly to one LED. Don't forget to use resistors to protect the LEDs. Now let's run through the logic in action. When A equals 0 and B equals 0, only the red LED glows vertical traffic light. When A equals 1 and B equals 0, the green LED turns on white heavy check mark. When A equals 0 and B equals 1, the yellow LED lights up warning sign. Finally, if A equals 1 and B equals 1, no LED glows, this acts like a reset or transition state. And just like that, we've recreated a basic traffic light sequence. So what did we just learn? By using only logic gates, we managed to simulate a real-world traffic control system. Imagine scaling this up, adding more states, timers, and synchronization, and you get the real traffic lights that manage our cities every single day. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more projects combining electronics, logic, and real-world systems, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share this with your friends. This is Rayan from Rayan Kiwan Electronics, turning ideas into reality, one project at a time. See you in the next video.